Vidur College English Language Grade 4 A Trip Within Your Body Hello my dear children, how are you? Hope you are having a great time at home. What are we going to learn today? Today you are going to learn a lesson about our amazing body. Let's go to the lesson. A Trip Within Your Body Now get ready children, we are going a trip to our body. Are you ready? Let's go. A trip within your body. Semit was in his room one evening lying in his bed reading a science book about the human body. He was fascinated by the various colorful pictures in the book. All of a sudden, he felt something happening to his own body. He was growing smaller and smaller. Oh, what's happening? He is growing smaller and smaller. Let's see what happened to him. Oh no, thought he. He tried to scream, but his voice would not be heard by anyone, not even his brother in the next room. He climbed onto the table with difficulty. He found himself sitting on a biscuit on the table, which looked like a giant circle for him now. He was glad to see his brother coming to his room all of a sudden. He tried to call him waving his hand and screaming from the bottom of his voice. It was useless. No one could hear him now as he was very small. Semit felt his heart beating fast when his brother's hand reached for the giant biscuit he was sitting on at that moment. Will he eat me? Oh no, thought he. There was nothing he could do now. All he could do is to hold on to the biscuit with his shivering hands. He was in his brother's mouth now. The giant teeth were breaking the biscuit into small parts. He was lucky to be so small that he escaped from the teeth without any harm. The biscuit pieces got mixed with the saliva in the mouth. Suddenly, a big door-like thing opened and everything went through a long tube. What's that long tube? Let's see. He realized that it is the esophagus. He was squeezed down and down as if he was going through a toothpaste tube until he finally fell into a huge pink muscular bag. A bag in our body? What's that? Let's go and find it. This must be the stomach, he thought. He remembered what he saw in the picture book in the evening. Children, look at that picture. You can see a huge pink color muscular bag inside that body. That's our stomach. Children, now I will explain these two new words. First one is esophagus. It is like a stretchy pipe that's about 10 inches long. It moves food from back of your throat to your stomach. Next one is a pink color huge muscular bag. It is our stomach. This is attached to the end of the esophagus. It has three important jobs. To store the food you have eaten, to break down the food into a liquid mixture and to slowly empty the liquid mixture into the small intestine. Back to the story. The muscles began to move and suddenly he was showered by an acid rain. It was so shaky inside, it reminded him of the roller coaster ride he had in the children's park. Waves mixed and churned the food and chemicals together breaking the food into even more smaller bits. Then another valve opened and he was sent into the small intestine. He was surprised to see how digested food particles squeezed through the small intestine. He saw all the nutrition pass through the bowl of the small intestines into the other tubes carrying blood. Small intestine is a long tube. It is packed inside you beneath your stomach. 
the small intestine breaks down the food mixture even more. So, your body can absorb all the vitamins, minerals, proteins, carbohydrates and fats. Where would I go next? Thought Semi Thin Wonder. At the end of the small intestine, there was another tube which was much bigger and drier. It was the large intestine. The remaining food got drier and harder as the water in them was absorbed while they were being pushed further and further. What is large intestine? I will explain. The large intestine is fatter than the small intestine. It's almost the last stop on the digestive tract. At the end of the large intestine, there was the anus. The food waste passes out of the body through the anus, he remembered. Semit began to tremble now. He was so scared now. He did not want to end up his trip, falling into the comet in the toilet at any cost. He realized that he should do something very quickly. He began to kick widely while screaming as loud as he could. What happened, Semi? Have you been dreaming? His brother's voice brought him back to the real world. Aha, what's that? It's a dream. When we read this story, it feels like a virtual trip within your body. You learned the parts of our digestive system. This digestive system is a pretty important part of your body. Without it, you couldn't get the nutrition you need to grow properly and stay healthy. So, you can help your digestive system by drinking water and eating healthy diet that includes food rich in fiber. So, next time you sit down to lunch, you will know where your food goes from start to finish. Okay, my dear children, let's go and find the answers to these questions. First question is, what was Semit reading one evening? One evening, Semit was reading a science book about the human body. The most important thing is, when you are writing the answers, you have to write the full sentence. Let's go to the second question. Why couldn't his brother bite Semit along with the biscuit? His brother couldn't bite Semin along with the biscuit because he was lucky to be so small that he escaped from teeth without any harm. Let's go to the third question. Where did he go from the mouth? He went through a long tube called esophagus. Fourth question. What did Semit experience inside the stomach? Inside the stomach, the muscles began to move and suddenly he was showered by an acid rain. Let's go to our last question. Where did he travel from stomach? He traveled into small intestine from stomach. Okay, my dear children, let's go to the word bank. Take your Oxford dictionary and find the meaning for these given words. Scream. Make a loud, piercing cry or sound. Giant. Very large. Sudden. Occurring or done quickly and unexpectedly. Shivering. Shake slightly. Absorb. Soak up liquid. Okay, my dear children. Now it is your chance to make some meaningful sentences using these given words. Let's go to the examples. Scream. I heard a loud screaming. Giant. It is a giant palace. Sudden. I was surprised by her sudden decision. Shivering. My brother was shivering. Absorb. Blood tubes absorb all nutrition. Now make your own sentences 
using these given words. That's the end of the lesson. Please download and paste the relevant student note. Next, complete the relevant exercises in your English book. See you soon with another lesson. Stay safe and have a nice day.